Hello class. Today let us derive the Gauss divergence theorem for a tensor field using the Gauss divergence theorem for vector field. Let us see the definition or the statement of the Gauss divergence theorem for the vector field. If let V be the volume, let V be the volume of the region bounded by a closed surface S. Yes. You can see the diagram here. You have the volume V bounded by the surface S. Yes. Right. If U is a vector field, if U is a vector field defined in that volume V and on the surface S, then the Gauss divergence theorem for a vector field states that the volume integral divergence of u dv is equal to the surface integral s u dot n ds where n is the outward unit normal to that surface s yes. okay this is the gauss divergence theorem for vector field now this we have studied in our earlier classes, in our degree classes. Now using this theorem, we are going to derive the Gauss divergence theorem for tensor field. Now let us look at the definition or the statement of the vector field, the tensor field, the Gauss divergence theorem for the tensor field. It says that same volume V bounded by the surface, same surface S. Right. And instead of U, we are going to take a tensor field A. We are going to take the tensor field A. So here is the tensor field A. Okay. Defined in V and on the surface S. Then the Gauss divergence theorem for tensor field states that the volume integral divergence A dV is equal to the surface integral surface integral a n ds a n is the product ordinary product a n and ds and what is n here n is the outward unit normal of the surface ds okay so now let us consider uh, so we have to prove this theorem using the previous theorem okay now let us take the lhs of the uh, cause divergence theorem for a tensor field. So, what is LHS? LHS is uh, volume integral divergence the tensor A dV. This is the LHS. So, we have taken LHS and we are going to take any constant vector C. Take any constant vector C which is defined on the same volume and also on the surface S. And take the dot product with C. So consider, consider C dot, consider C dot, the volume integral divergence A dV that is equal to, now this C is a constant vector. So that is, that C is taken inside here. That C is taken inside here. Let us call that as equation 1. Okay, so what is C? C is any constant vector defined on the same volume and on the surface S. Yes. Okay, now we have an identity C dot divergence A is equal to divergence of A transpose C. We have proved this relation, right? This is uh, using comma notation. We have proved this, right? So, we using this relation now. So, in the equation 1, C dot divergence A can be replaced by divergence of A transpose C. That is what we have done here. Right. Okay. Now, what is A transpose? What is our A? A is a second order tensor. A transpose is also a second order tensor. And A transpose C is a first order tensor. That means it is a vector. 
right so we have divergence of a vector so once we have divergence of a vector and we have the volume integral remember we can use the cross divergence theorem for a vector field right so since a transpose c is a vector we can use the gauss divergence theorem for a vector field so that is equal to surface integral right surface integral that vector what is the vector here the vector is a transpose t c dot n ds okay let us call that as equation 2 and we have one more identity what is the identity identity says that a transpose c dot n is equal to is equal to c dot a n we have this very very important identity so which says that c a transpose c dot n is equal to c dot a n right now using this identity what is happening the previous step previous step is becoming equal to the surface integral so in the previous step we had what the previous step we had uh, a transpose in the uh, a transpose c dot n ds as the integrand so now using this really identity so what it's becoming what it's becoming c right dot a n ds and what is our c c is c is any constant vector defined on any constant vector defined on uh, vector okay defined on what v and on the surface s yes. okay now that c is constant vector right so that c is taken inside now c is here in, inside so we can take that c outside okay so it becomes c outside c is taken outside so c dot surface integral a n d s okay what is our lhs lhs is this part lhs is this right equal to this is our rhs okay now we'll take on one side now so lhs minus this rhs equal to 0 equal to 0 now c dot for the lhs okay and we have c as c dot here also right then there also we have c dot so what we can do now we can take c dot integral right divergence a dv minus surface integral a n ds equal to 0 c is just like taking common factor so t is taken as common factor equal to 0 and what is our c c is any constant vector that is defined on v and s in other words c is arbitrary since c is arbitrary this uh, the previous relation right this relation you can call this as 3 right this happens for any c for all c's so therefore 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 we should have we should have this one that is volume integral divergence a dv is equal to surface integral a n ds so this is our gauss divergence theorem for a tensor field a defined on v and s v is the volume and s is the surface bounding that volume okay that means what any volume integral can be converted into a surface integral surface integral and divergence of a a is a tensor field and you get here a n is a vector here okay and what is our n n is a unit normal unit outward normal of the small surface ds this is the gauss divergence theorem for a tensor field very very simple and very easy so let us stop now the next class we are going to prove stokes theorem for a tensor field